viewers of the channel will recognize this four to one attenuator. And uh, judging from the feedback, I'd say that globally, quite a few of these have been built. It was designed to bring these plus or minus five volt budget oscilloscopes to a plus or minus 20 volt working range, making them more useful for automotive diagnostics. Now these are just simple voltage dividers made simple intentionally for DIY. And we had to build them because you couldn't find this particular value to purchase online until now. These are the new AT series attenuators developed by Martin Lauren and available in this store. They come in three values, including the four to one that I just demonstrated, a 10 to one and a 20 to one. Now these are a much more sophisticated circuit than the DIY. These are compensating attenuators. What's that you say? Many of you may be familiar with these compensating probes. They're often bundled with oscilloscopes and they can be trimmed. There's an adjustment right here. And the idea is to get a one kilohertz square wave to be square. And the same holds true with this new AT series attenuators. They can be trimmed to the proper compensation. Now we need a one kilohertz square wave which could be provided with an external waveform generator. But many oscilloscopes, including this Hantec 6022BE, provide their own square wave generation. Here we have too much. Here we have too little. And that's nice. Now you need a non-conductive screwdriver like this ceramic at the time of this video these were priced at $17 each and they include the ceramic screwdriver or a bundle of three for $45 links in the description take care guys